working on getting these shelves hung up and uh, got one of the brackets put on and cleaned everything off this one because the other board we were going to use right here it's longer so we're going to put it up here and replace replace this board and move this one down we're just going to measure try to I know this board's level 22 inches Top shelf's gonna be a little higher than it was a while ago. Oh, oh yeah, that works like a champ. These brackets are a little bit long. So I got my two shelves up. You can barely see one of them right there. Got my table back over there. Got my Christmas stuff on that very top shelf. And uh, that corner is done. Break time. So it's Tuesday evening. I've done all I'm gonna do tonight. I got a pile of trash here, I gotta get up. A pile of trash here, I gotta get up. That new barrel, I'll probably swap that out the week of Christmas. Um, unless I pick an afternoon between now and then. Got the stove there. That's probably where that stove's gonna stay. I've moved my air compressor from right here, kind of in the doorway, to back a little bit. And I will be changing this over to a outlet. And uh, that's where the uh, air compressor will plug in. And then I'm going to use, sorry if I'm making you sick, that piece of wood that's on top of the barrel. About a third of that is rotted so i'm going to cut the rotten part out and i'm going to build a shelf right there and that's where the radio is going to sit and it'll plug in right there um that's the actual door to the shop right behind that shelf i've never used it because the dirt on the back side is kind of built up i'm going to get that shoveled out so i can start using it so i can actually start locking Locking this place up. I'll lock the sliding door here. And then the door has a slide. And I'll get it all locked up. 
But anyway, those tires, I actually bought four used tires for my truck and I put two of them on it because uh, uh, the front end was out of a line and I wore a tire out. I actually wore two of them out. So I put the two of these on my truck and I'm still running other two. Matching set don't bother me anymore if it matches or not. <laughs> so anyway, um, part of those waterbed drawers that I was telling you about, part of those were rotted. So I cut one off and there we go. Um, this is a piece of plywood that was down here in the middle. The stove was on. I just put it back here. Um, it's, it's kind of rotted, so might as well use it to walk on. Got this extra rack here. or will probably go somewhere right in this area. And uh, we had a, that rack that I just showed you was right here. And uh, kind of moved that stuff to one of these other racks. And then there's a two new shelves. We got a lot of gardening stuff back up in here. And behind the Fresno lens and stuff. All those sacks will be gone Thursday. But like I said, a pile of trash here and a pile of trash there. So anyway, we'll get these uh, rabbit cages moved over. I actually got to replace a piece of tin in the old uh, chicken coop transformation. It's going to be a rabbit, rabbit hutch, uh, barn, whatever. I got to replace a piece of tin. Uh, the wind blew a piece of tin up. So I got to replace it and I think I'm going to replace a few two by fours while I'm at it. So that actually may, that may be closer to the first of the year whenever I get that moved out of here and uh, the lean to fixed over there, the roof. So anyway, the, uh, the barn is pretty well clean. Uh, the next video I do on this barn will just be like, I don't know. <laughs> So anyway, that's the barn. Thanks for watching the series. Uh, if you guys got any ideas on how I can use some of the space in here or, or uh, what would be cool in here or how to set some stuff up. Um, like I said before, this back, this back wall, I'm actually going to have a bandsaw up there. I'm going to have a drill press up there. Um... I'll have a bandsaw, a drill press, probably a sander, um, a bench sander, and you know, just a few, a few basic uh, wood shop tools. And um, you know, this will kind of be because I have plenty of room over here. I've been dragging the saw horses out uh, by the workshop, doing everything in front of the workshop there, but. I want to bring that stuff over here and and I want to be able to work in here when it's raining. Um, work on some stuff. One of my first projects when I get this will be some baseboards I'm going to be redoing in my house. And I want some extra tall baseboards so I'm going to make them myself. But anyway, that's uh, basically it. Um, I may show you once I get some of this stuff set up, uh, get the table saw over here. I know I'll be shooting some video cleaning out the workshop because, uh, like I said, any any kind of uh, uh, tips, tricks you guys want to lend, throw them in the comments down there. Same with whenever I start cleaning out the workshop. And, and when I make that workshop video, I'll explain the difference and what I have in mind for both of these spaces. So... Uh, I'll, I'll explain it a little more in detail. So anyway, this is Coke Man 250 from the land of the free, the home of the brave. God bless everybody. And remember, prep smarter and pray harder.